Do you find yourself craving for the praises of men rather than God? A blessed day to all. This is our reflection for the day. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. St. Charles Borromeo belonged to the Milanese nobility and was related to the powerful Medici family. In 1559, his uncle, Cardinal de' Medici, was elected Pope Pius IV, and Charles, while still a layman, was entrusted with several important offices connected with the Vatican, including being Secretary of State. Soon after being ordained a priest at age 25, Borromeo was consecrated Archbishop of Milan. St. Charles was credited for keeping the Council of Trent in session, when at several points it was on the verge of breaking up. When the Council finally concluded, Borromeo took up residence in Milan, where the religious and moral picture was far from right. If people were to be converted to a better life, Borromeo had to be the first to give a good example to renew their apostolic spirit. Without much fanfare, Charles took the initiative by allotting most of his income to charity, forbade himself all luxury, and imposed severe penances upon himself. He sacrificed wealth, high honors, esteem, and influence to become poor. During the plague and famine of 1576, Borromeo tried to feed 60,000 to 70,000 people daily. To do this, he borrowed large sums of money that required years to repay. Whereas the civil authorities fled at the height of the plague, he stayed in the city, ministered to the sick and the dying, and helped those in want. St. Charles Borromeo made his own the words of Christ in Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 to 36. I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me. Naked and you clothed me. Ill and you cared for me. In prison and you visited me. He saw Christ in his neighbors and knew that charity done for the least of his flock was charity done for Christ. Work and the heavy burdens of his high office began to affect Archbishop Borromeo's health, leading to his death at the age of 46. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus teaches us the importance of charitable giving, praying, and fasting and how the principle of having our righteousness rewarded by God and not by people show us the way to the kingdom of heaven. But in our present times, these teachings pose some challenges when applied to 21st century life. Jesus' principle to almsgiving is the most challenging in that it was and is seen as a reasonable reward to be honored by having givers' names associated with their contributions. Churches, schools, and other institutions today are in the practice of prominently announcing the names of those who have contributed to them. Not doing so might decrease the level of giving to many worthwhile causes. But wouldn't this be the very hypocrisy that Jesus condemns? Society may be impressed with grand, seemingly selfless acts. God apparently is not. The difficulty of applying this same principle to prayer today is that Christians today are either too self-conscious or are otherwise afraid or unwilling to pray in public at all. But the basic principle of Jesus' instruction 
is that the purpose of prayer is to encounter God and experience His presence. Any other reason is not to pray at all and is simply the hypocrisy that Jesus condemns. Fasting might be a common religious activity for Jews and Christians in the ancient world, but today it is usually done to draw attention, not to fasters, but to some worthwhile cause such as world hunger. Fasting is a natural religious expression and is done by denying oneself before God through abstention from food, drink, sleep, or sex. In following Jesus, what better time than now to attempt such an act of humility as fasting? Christ declares three times that hypocrites who act before others have already received their reward. Our eternal destiny will depend upon the outcome of that moment. May we not discover that our hands are empty because we have secretly acted to win the applause of men. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, I praise and thank you for inspiring me towards good deeds for you. But you know me better than I know myself. Please reveal to me where I need to improve in my efforts to allow you to transform me. This I ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless couples for Christ and our Catholic faith.